Hi, Nona here, and I'm going to share another remote learning tip with you, but this tip is for older students. By now, you've learned how to use the indefinite articles of a and an in a sentence, right? You've learned by now that if a word begins with a consonant, you use a in front of it. And if a word begins with a vowel, A, E, I, O, or U, you use an in front of it, right? So we would say a nut because N is a consonant. And begin, the nut begins with the word, the letter N, which is a consonant, and an acorn. You use an because acorn begins with a vowel. A fire, F is a consonant. An ember, E, is a vowel. A pencil, P, is a consonant. An ink pen, I, is a vowel. A river, R, is a consonant. An ocean, O, is a vowel, right? A man, M, is a consonant. An uncle, U, is a vowel. Now, this rule is really good for thousands of words in the English language. But then there comes a time when you read words like university, unicorn, ukulele, unit. You wouldn't say an university. And you say, well, but Nona, you is a vowel and vowel should begin with an, right? Well, we're not necessarily focusing in on the letter, right? We're focusing on the sound that it makes. That's what you have to really pay attention to. It's not so much the beginning letter, it's the beginning sound. And if you focus on the sound, you'll get it right all the time. But if you just focus on the beginning letter, then there are gonna be some mistakes, okay? So even though you've learned that rule, add this information to that rule to give you more clarity. University makes the consonant sound y university, Un unicorn, you hear the Y, the y sound, right? Ukulele, y unit, or you hear Y O U. The Y is a consonant, it doesn't make the vowel sound. So, since you hear the consonant sound, you must say a university, a unicorn. A ukulele, a unit, makes the, the consonant sound of Y. What about air and hour? These are both consonants, but you don't say a air or a hour. Because first of all, the H in air is silent. The sound is a vowel sound and air, right? And hour, you hear the vowel sound. So if you hear the vowel sound, you must apply an. If you hear the consonant sound, you must apply a. Stick with the sound and you will get it right all the time. What about a registered nurse? A, well you hear the R, so you know you're correct. It's a consonant sound, a registered nurse. But if you abbreviate the word, right, to RN, 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 it's N, RN. You don't hear the consonant sound, you hear vowel sound. What about a National Basketball Association player? A national, that's a consonant. But if you abbreviate that to NBA player, then it now becomes an NBA player because you hear the vowel sound in NBA player and not national. So focus on the initial sound and not the initial letter and you'll get it correct all the time. I thought about this quick little rhyme to help you. It says, don't let a uh, and an spin your brain all around.
Don't focus on the letter. Focus on the sale. Have a great day.